Here we have a new 2023 GMC Sierra 1500 AT4X. This bad boy comes in Summit White on Obsidian Rush, which is gonna be that 16-way power massaging front seat, perforated leather interior. And then the powertrain consists of a 6.2 liter, naturally aspirated V8 engine, mated with GM's 10-speed automatic transmission. And coming around to the front end, I just love the grill here on the AT4X. I actually, I almost wanna say I like it as much as the Denali, maybe even a little bit more. I just love the accents here. This looks so, so cool. It's kind of like a bronze, like a dark bronze finish. And you have your gloss black in between. Just really mean look there. Love that. And of course, we get our full LED headlamps along with LED fog lights. And coming around to the side here, these are gonna be 18 inch aluminum wheels. Of course, they can't be too big. We gotta save room for those big tires there. We get passive keyless entry on the front two doors. And then to the door panel here, we have our power door lock controls, memory seat controls. I just love the, the little things like putting that AT4X badge like they do on the Denali's. And then all this trim just looks super, super nice. And it's got nice vinyl feel to it. Just really nice. And the wood grain here is a nice touch as well. But down here we have the controls for our power windows. The front two are gonna be auto, up, and down one touch and then just normal power windows for the back and we have power folding mirrors with blind spot monitors and then we can lock our rear there and then we have our power mirror controls here and we're going to test this out in a second but we have the 12 speaker premium Bose sound system then we have our drive mode controls here. So we get three drive modes, terrain, off-road, and then our normal mode. And then for terrain mode and maybe off-road mode, I can't remember, but for terrain mode, that's like your low four. So you have to actually go into your four-wheel drive to do that. And we have our tow haul mode here, electronic parking brake. You just press that down to engage and then hit the brake, press it down again to disengage. Headlamp controls here. Heads up display controls there. We do get a power tilt and telescope and steering wheel. And then like I said before, we do have 16 way front seats with massage function and activate that, you just hit that button right there. And we have the power lumbar as well. Let's go ahead and hop in the back seat here. So I think I might have said this in my previous review, but you just want to get so comfortable in those seats there where they're so adjustable. So the seat's a little bit further back than it usually is when I'm doing this, and it looks a little wider too. But my knees still are not touching the back of the seat at all, so I'm free to move about, and I'm 6'3", and I have, I don't even know how many inches of headroom. Might be almost a foot of uh, headroom here. Probably not that much, but I'm just really comfortable back here tons of space there's our center seat that folds down and i love this kind of suede that's going on with the roof liner there or headliner and then we have clothes hangers on the back two doors and then we have grab handles on all four doors as well and then two more cup holders back here the AC vents are there. We have a USB-C, USB-A charging port, and then three-stage heated outboard seats. Pockets behind both seats. And just look at that front there. Just, I love this interior, especially in the AT4X. Just a really, really expensive feeling truck. Let's go ahead and take a look at the price tag next. So you see all these standard features you get. I wanna show you all of this before I show you the sticker because you do get 
a lot of safety features included. But look at this price tag here. Almost $81,000. And just in the interior alone, just the overall feel, I haven't driven it yet, but worth every penny to me. I will say, I feel like the exterior aesthetics of the truck still gives me like a 2019 Sierra vibe because it's back end is basically from 2019 but other than that they really have stepped their game up I always do that I'm gonna show off the multi-pro tailgate with the kicker sound system that comes standard on the AT4X Nice for tailgating and such. And then of course, this makes it a lot easier on your back to get in and out of the bed, put stuff in and out of the bed. And then we have a 120 volt back here. Maybe you're charging your work laptop or something like that. But I will say, the white with the black wheels is a really, really aggressive look. I really like that. That would be the way to get it, in my opinion, especially with this interior. There's that other 16-way seat. And I didn't even touch on the door panel. There's tons of space down there like every other Sierra. One of the great things about full-size trucks even if you don't tow, it's always good to have a lot of room to haul stuff. Well, let's go ahead and uh, check out that 6.2 liter V8. And it's mostly covered up there, but it's in there. Now let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat here. So of course, with all the bells and whistles, you do get a heated leather wrapped steering wheel. Really good looking there. And then let's go over to this 13.4 inch Google connected, or Google Assistant connected radio here. We get AM, FM, XM along with Bluetooth audio and then of course we get wireless Apple wireless Apple CarPlay wireless Android auto compatibility excuse me it's a tongue twister and then we also have podcast Google News and then you can even use USB input if you want to do that and I'm just gonna show you what the Google Maps look like now this does have to have a subscription which a lot of these vehicles come with a three-year connected services subscription already included but you can find the quick shortcuts to stores, restaurants, coffee places, of course, gas, because this thing is thirsty. So you always want to have the gas stations handy. And then we have the Google Assistant itself there, Play Store. We do get dual zone automatic climate controls along with three stage heated cooled seats. And the buttons are going to be down here, but I actually love and I've said this in many other reviews of the new interiors on the Sierras. I love how quick responsive this system is and how easy it is to use. Just really, really awesome. Just really quick on his feet. But there's our backup camera. There's our front camera. We have a bird's eye view, 
curbside view, front, back, trailer hitch view. And then we even have back in there a view of the cargo bay which i always love having that because i do mostly hauling with my truck and i just love being able to see hey is this moving around whatever so just really really cool and then down here we have our lane keep assist with lane departure warning parking sensors auto stop we can fold down that tailgate hitting that button there and then Hazards here, traction control, hill descent, and we can lock our differentials there. Nice storage pocket there, the USB and the USB-C charging port there. Trailer brake controller there, and then for our shifter, hit the button here, pull down for drive, and you can tap to low mode, tap up for neutral, and then you can grab this button, pull all the way up for reverse, press P for park, and then in your low mode, you can use your paddle shifters here. Or low gear, I'm sorry. And then here we have our wireless charging pad. Two more USB inputs there. Another 120 volt three prong household plug-in. And then we have a nice removable tray here. And then tons of storage down below. So I have that extra foam because I wanted to test out this sound system. So I want you all to just take a listen and I'll kind of review the actual speakers. So I'm just so impressed by just how in your face this system is. Very, very good sound quality, but also just the bass. I could like, it felt like my seat was vibrating. So, and it wasn't even up that loud, just really clear, really concise sound. So I'm, that was probably a 9.5 out of 10 for me. The only system I've heard better in a GM vehicle was the Escalade's 36 speaker AKG. Very impressed, wow. Now here, we have our power rear window. Rear sliding window, excuse me. And then we can one touch slide or tilt our power sunroof, which actually goes all the way back, which is really nice. And that's a one touch close as well. And I'm just becoming more and more impressed with this truck for that $81,000. I reviewed one back in August, I think it was a 22. And I really have learned a lot about it after reviewing that one. And I really start to see just how much is in this. Cause a lot of people say, I mean, it's 80 grand. That's a lot of money for a truck, but please let me know what they've missed, if anything. There's our bottom glove compartment that's lockable. Owner's manuals and such in there. Then we have our top glove compartment. And just everything looks so premium. It's really, really great. And to the left side of the steering wheel, we can activate our adaptive cruise. We can adjust the gap for that. And then we can actually just hold the X button here to put in regular cruise. And then to the right side, we have our voice recognition controls here. And this also serves as a mute button. And then the scroll bar and these arrows are for this 12.3 inch all digital gauge cluster, which of course has tons of options. You can even change the layout of the display. I like to keep it in that classic mode personally. And then if you look closely, there's our heads up display. It doesn't blink like that, it's just the camera picking it up. But I can change the actual info on there. So 
So several different views. And of course you can toggle the brightness and how high or low it is. And there's our push button start there. And finally, here is our key fob with remote start. But now onto the super fun part. Let's go ahead and take this 2023 Sierra 1500 AT4X out on the road for a quick test drive. So I really like the stance of the AT4X just to start off with. I feel like I'm in a Hummer without necessarily being in something as huge as one in terms of maneuverability, so that's good. And the 10 speed in this normal mode does a really good job at Kind of calculating how much throttle I want based on how much I put my foot into it and by that I mean just what gear to be in how much actual oomph to give the powertrain and we're gonna do that here again Really great pull, of course. So we have the adaptive cruise on now with the lane keep. So there it is pinging me back in the lines on the right side. And like I've said in many other reviews, it's decent, it's, a good, it's good at what it does, but it's not a lane centering. So it's not like Ford's active or anything like that, or like the Tesla Autopilot, which I wish they would just put in here because I'm sure they have the capability to with Super Cruise but and even on these bigger tires the bigger off-road tires I should say ride was actually really good going down the interstate And the brake pedal feels really strong in this truck. Of course, it's brand new, but it feels really strong even with all this mass. And there's the auto stop that came on. Now I have said in my other reviews Pretty much every GM pickup, the 6.2, if you're used to having it, you'll more than likely want to keep it, but if you don't want to spend the extra money for it, then get the 5.3, but now that I've driven this AT4X, if you're going to go all out, you might as well get the 6.2 anyway, which I have to double check and make sure it's not standard on the AT4X, but I think it's an option. Actually, no, it's, it comes on it because you don't pay for it. So yeah, you get the 6.2 with this. And it's just a really, really impressive motor. But like I said before, the 5.3 is more than enough for the vast majority of people. But if you're getting the AT4X, you want the best of the best anyway. So you're going to want the bigger engine to go with your massage seats and sunroof and all that. And I really like how subtle the massager is in here. 
while still being very comfortable. For the most part, it doesn't try to put me to sleep. But of course, this is no Mercedes either, so it's gonna be a lot more difficult to fall asleep while you're driving this because the ride is, of course, a bit stiffer. But like I said, still good to be in a truck like this. Nothing to complain about at all. And my biggest issue with this, other than the price tag, which really is not that bad comparatively, but it's just the fuel consumption. And I know it's a 6.2, it's four wheel drive. It's got the off-road tires, rides a little bit higher, but I mean, 17 miles per gallon on the highway Very, very thirsty truck. But all in all, no other complaints about this, really. If you're in the market for a pickup truck and you want something that's, you know, awesome, this is one of the best options out there, in my opinion. But this will bring me to the end of my review of the 2023 GMC Sierra 1500 AT4X.